Hello everybody! In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a meeting room. Okay? Here, I've got a test map. And in this test map, I've got here a big table with a lot of chairs around. But what I like is actually to have a meeting space starting. In Work Adventure, when you walk next to someone, there is a bubble that is coming up. But you can have only up to four people in the bubble. Meeting rooms allow us to have way more people, up to 60, 70 people. It might be a little bit crowded, but up to eight, 10 people having a real meeting is really quite a breeze. And uh, for this, what we are going to do is we are going to use the Jitsi integration of Work Adventure. In Work Adventure, meeting rooms are handled with Jitsi and Jitsi is basically an open source platform that is like Google Meet or Microsoft Teams. Let me show you. In tiled, here I'm going to add a new layer. So I'm going to add a tile layer and I'm going to call this layer Meeting Room. I'm going to put this layer at the bottom because I want it to be hidden. I'm going to select here any tile actually and I can put on this layer any tile, I, as long as there is a tile, so I'm going to paint this zone and when someone walks into this zone, I want the meeting to start. So still on the same layer, I'm going to add a custom property and the name of the property will be Jitsi Room. And I can give this property any name, but if you have many meeting rooms, you want to give them different names. Otherwise, people in those different rooms will be part of the same meeting, Jitsi meeting room. So I'm going to call this my meeting room and I'm going to click File, Save. And if I go in Work Adventure and I refresh the page, when I'm walking on the zone I define, there is a Jitsi meeting that is starting. Okay, so I'm alone in this meeting for this demonstration. But you can imagine that there are several other people joining the meeting room and we can all speak together. That's pretty much it, or at least the basics of starting a meeting room. I'll show you some advanced features. The first one is that maybe you don't want the meeting room to open automatically. Maybe you want a user interaction to open the meeting room. And you can do that with an additional property. I'll show you here. If I'm adding a new property and I name it Jitsi Trigger and I put an action here or lowercase, if I'm saving here and refreshing here, you can see that the meeting room is not opening automatically, but I'm asked to press space to enter the Jitsi meeting room. And here we go. I can also customize the message by adding yet another property, which is Jitsi trigger message. And here I can write click space to enter the meeting room. And if I'm using this text and I'm refreshing the page, you can see that the message here is the one that I put just here, okay? So you can customize um, the message you're going to display. I'm going to remove those two properties because I want to enter the meeting room automatically because, uh, well, it's obvious that it is a meeting room right now. So the, there is no big surprise to the fact that when I'm working in the meeting room, it's going to open. One additional thing you can do is configure your meeting room so that some people are moderator of the meeting room. Okay, this feature is only available on pro accounts because you need to be able to have some users with special tags. But let me show you how this works. Basically, you are creating yet another property, which is Jitsi Room Admin Tag, just like that. And here you put the name of a tag. Let's say I want only people with the tag speaker to be allowed to be moderators, okay? If I'm putting this here, if I'm testing here, I'm not going to see anything because I'm using a test room because it is starting with an underscore here. 
what you would need to do in order to view the result is actually to have a look to connect to your work adventure administration panel and log in with a user that has the tag speaker here and of course you need to create the room as a private room so a room that starts with an ampersand and not an at sign and not an underscore sign since you need to know when you are a jitsi moderator you can do stuff like kicking people out of jitsi you can mute other people you cannot unmute them but you can mute them it's very useful when uh, you have quite many people in the jitsi and you are using jitsi to do small meetups if you are up to 30 40 people you can use jitsi as a meetup zone and to do presentation share your screen and present to many people if you have more than 40 people i would advise against you using jitsi we have more advanced setup with Jitsi that is actually streaming to YouTube Live and people looking at YouTube Live in the work adventure. But I'll talk about that in a later tutorial. So that was it for the administration part. There are still a number of things I want to show you about Jitsi and how we can configure it more uh, deeply. If you go to the documentation of work adventure in the build your map section, you can actually have a look at the customizing your Jitsi meet section, which will explain to you how you can use two additional properties, which are Jitsi config and Jitsi interface config to modify the behavior of Jitsi. There are many, many, many ways you can configure Jitsi. So I'm not going to describe all the features now, but I will show you where you can find them. In the documentation here, there are two links, one to config.js and want to interface config.js and basically through your work adventure map you can modify those configuration files. So config.js is here and well basically it's quite well documented. For instance for the audio section you can decide that you don't want to enable the noisy microphone detection or you can decide that you want people to start with audio muted by default it's pretty useful if you are doing a meetup for instance because when someone is entering the meetup you don't want it to perturbate the meetup right so let's start to put the start audio muted property into work adventure for this we need to create the jitsi config property so let's go back to our map here and we will add an additional property and it will be named jitsi config like this and it will be a string there are many properties we can add and what we want to do here is actually add it as json okay json is a format for configuration files if you are not used to writing json and i would understand that what you can do is actually use a website like a json editor online.org that will tell you if your json is valid or not so usually json is starting with curly braces and inside the curly braces you can put keys and values so i want to start audio start with audio muted to be true which means that basically the audio will be muted when I enter. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste this entirely here for the property. Let's save the result and let's have a look. I'm going back to my work adventure map, refreshing the map. If I'm having a look at my microphone here, it is not muted, but if I walk inside the Jitsi room, my microphone is indeed muted and if I go out it stays muted. So uh, basically we saw how we can use a property to mute the microphone but do not forget there are many 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 properties here and the properties in config.js allow you to modify the behavior of uh, the room you can also uh, shut down a video you can uh, make, uh, prevent anyone from uh, starting a video by making the room audio only, for instance. But when it comes to the graphical user interface customization, the properties are actually in another properties, which is the Jitsi interface config. So I can create also Jitsi interface config property 
in my tile map here and just like for the Jitsu config it's going to be some JSON and I've got the details here and as usual there are many many a few moments later many parameters available to modify how Jitsi looks. What I like to change quite often is simply using the default background and changing it to some hexadecimal value that is a color. So for instance, if I want some, um, I don't know, um, uh, yellow, I'm going to use FFF77. You can have a look at hexadecimal code to know which color looks like what. But this, this is yellow, you can trust me. Uh, let's try this, let's put this in tile and uh, let's save the map and if I go back in work adventure here and I'm refreshing the page and if I go in my meeting room it should be kind of yellow, okay it's uh, absolutely disgusting because I have really poor taste regarding colors but you get the idea, you can uh, choose whatever color you want or how things are displayed here which is kind of cool actually so that pretty much sums it uh, regarding what I wanted to learn to teach you about Jitsi meeting rooms remember that uh, basically Jitsi meeting rooms are uh, pretty useful for meetings they are made for that, so up to 10 people. If you want to do medium meetups, like having maybe 50, 60 people coming around and having a look at you, it is possible if you think, but you really need to make sure that the camera and the, uh, the webcam and the microphone of the people that are entering the room are disabled by default, and you should definitely be moderator of the room. And if you want to be really bigger events, then you need yet another feature, which is basically the integration with YouTube Live. Uh, and you can do uh, a small part of the room, which is your Jitsi room, where people can speak together, and a big uh, amphitheater where people are looking at you, but through YouTube Live, which can stream to thousands and thousands of people at them simultaneously. So uh, maybe I'll show you in a later video how you can do this integration with YouTube. In the meantime, well, have fun setting up meeting rooms and happy work adventuring. Bye-bye!